Yeah, I think, you know what I, I tell people, if it was just traveling between New York and Charleston, it would be a hundred percent manageable. Like that would be awesome. But the thing is a lot of people forget is that we're traveling for work every week. And so like I'm in Nashville for our new store, we're in Missouri for a new project I'm doing. And then we're in, um, we are in Portland a lot in the Pacific Northwest, meaning with, like I'm on the road already. And then Paige is on this crazy, amazing tour. And so when we figure out how to break, get it, narrow it down to just two places, Charleston and New York, maybe. Um, but she's, she's so easy and amazing. Like Daphne's great with it. I think a dog you have to be, well, you know what? I didn't see the vision here with Daphne. So I'll take Paige's lead with the dog. And um, I, I'm all about growing our little animal family. Um, but yes, that's a, that's funny. That would be a lot of fun actually. All right. Well, I, I have a feeling there's going to be a second cat that just shows up one day. I don't, I feel like this is the start to a, a large pet family. I think what we've kind of figured out is, uh, you know, and you'll see us work through it on on both shows, even though like, yeah, never mind. I mean, <laughs> we yes, we do get asked all the time. You know, it's really just not letting the the unknown of the future ruin our happiness today. And that was a decision that we had to make. You know, um, and some people might not be able to do that. And sometimes it does get stressful and tough, and not being able to have a plan. But in you know, in reality, we don't need to right now. Um, with our ability to travel and technology, we're very fortunate to be able to spend, you know, half our time in New York and the other half in Charleston. And they're two great places to live. Uh, and, you know, really until, <laughs> I just mean, uh, really until the kids, you know, until we have kids and they uh, have to go to school, then we don't actually have to pick a place. So, um, you know, I could, I could go date someone that lived in Charleston and have that structure, but it wouldn't be the right person. So I think the date, finding the right person is the hard part and then figuring out the rest uh, will just come in time. And we, what's really fun and nice, and I hope they start to show this a little more uh, on our shows is we relate with so many people like there's so many couples that reach out that do long distance i mean it's not that uncommon anymore um a lot of people's jobs take them away for long periods of time and it's really nice to be you know represent the long distance relationship on tv and so you know what works for us works for a lot of other people and um i understand that Everyone's excited for the next, you know, what's next. Um, it's just the world we live in. But right now for us, uh, we're just kind of enjoying life and seeing where our, you know, what we can do with our careers. Yeah. So Charleston, um, <clears throat> as a lot of people know, is it's a really fun social town, but a lot of times, no matter how, how, no matter what age you are, it still feels like you're in college when you're there. And we were just kind of missing, um, like we were missing it, it, in like a, a calmer vibe that was still fun and your body was still moving because of the music, but that you could, that you could hear each other talk. And we were running into this issue where we'd have so many nice dinners with people visiting and customers and clients. And after the dinner, there wasn't really anywhere to go. Like I love going to Leva's places and um, our partner's bars that already exist, but they're, it's definitely like, it's walking into a party. Um, and so we wanted to, this place that locals loved forever called Warehouse came available and we wanted to do something with it, but also make it inviting for everyone visiting town. Cause we know um, people love to visit Charleston and, uh also like i send so many people from the store to my friends bars that i kind of wanted to have my you know a piece of something you know i was like we should probably like look to open a restaurant or bar since so many people um are asking us where to go and austin and i tried on our own for a little bit and i think you'll see a little of that this season hopefully um and then our partners had the same idea and they the uptown hospitality group has like 10 bars in new york city 
They have Uptown and Chair House in Charleston, so they definitely know what they're doing. And um, then it went from making one of the coolest bars in Charleston to making one of the coolest bars in the country. And so the project has been pushed about six additional months and cost a little bit more money, but we're really excited. We have the group that did the Spaniard in the West Village in New York City designed it for us. And um, so we should be opening in November. And, but yeah, I mean, it's it, like the vibe hopefully will be, you know, you go in there before dinner and a lot of people we think will end up missing their dinner reservations. You know, they'll be like, let's just stay here. Um, and so, yeah, we've got a menu to go with it.